What is up, everybody? Welcome to a Thursday morning edition of The Squeeze. I'm your host, Tyler Connie, and it's hard to believe it's Thursday already. We're almost back to the weekend. We're almost back to the first weekend of the NFL playoffs, which is very exciting. Um, just a quick reminder on FanDuel, the Spread the Love promo. You can um, place a bet, minus 110, up to $50. The line just keeps moving. I think it's Bills plus 34 and a half right now, which is great. And Also, I saw this morning on DraftKings, for every 150 betters, the over-under is going down. So it's currently at 30.5, max $25 bets. If you're looking for some bonuses and some promos, FanDuel and DraftKings is your hookup. Good night last night. We went 2-1, and one, so we rebounded from Wednesday or from Monday. We got um, the NBA. We went 1-1. One and one. No, we went 1-0 in the NBA. Washington won. DeMar DeRozan did not play. We were correct there. We got the Washington Wizards on even money. That was great. Weird ending to that game. Kyle Kuzma hit almost like a circus three, and then Zach Levine came back down the other end and took a two-point shot with no time left, and it didn't make, he didn't make it, but even if he did, it wouldn't have won the game or tied the game, so that was a little bit confusing. We hit the under in the Leafs Predators easily. It was a 2-1 to one Leafs final without Austin Matthews. The one bet we did lose, we had the LA Kings on the puck line playing our back-to-back strategy. The Kings did win that game 4-3. The Sharks actually scored with, I think, two minutes left um, to make it a one-goal game. So we split the NHL. We won in the NBA. I will take 2-1 and one and up a full unit every single time. And it's nice because yesterday we didn't pay it. We didn't pay any juice at all. It was great. We had a minus 106, a plus 100, and a plus 125. Somewhat similar today, maybe a little bit more juice, but let's get into it. I've got another three bets. We've got two in the NBA, one in the NHL. We're going to start in the NHL, and what are we going to do? Employ our back-to-back strategy. has been very, very generous to me and us if you're betting it this season. And we go to the Montreal Canadiens and the Nashville Predators. Of course, Nashville just played Toronto Maple Leafs last night. They lost 2-1. to one. They are now in Montreal to take on the Canadiens. Montreal hasn't been great this season. They're 16-22-3. They're 11, sorry, 8-11 and 11 at home. Nashville now after losing 19-15, and 15, and they're 10-9 and 9 on the road. But again, we're going to employ this back-to-back strategy. Saros played last night against Toronto. He made 33 stops on 35 shots. So... They haven't announced who the starters are yet, but I imagine it's probably going to be their backup, which is good news for us. Um, But that said, I don't like the Montreal Canadiens either, so we're just going to go back to the under, right? So Nashville and Toronto, they just played an under game last night. I'm going to predict them to play another under game today. It's at uh, 6.5. 22 and 17 to the under are the Predators. 22 and 16 to the under are the Montreal Canadiens. When you look at Nashville's last few games, 2 to 1, so 3 goals, 3 goals, 5 goals, and then there was an 8 before that when you look at Montreal you're looking at four goals nine goals but then five goals before that so Montreal has been playing to the under as well Montreal's losing a lot of hockey games as well so I don't necessarily know if they can score Um, for Nashville the under is four and one in the Predators last five after allowing two or less goals in their previous game um and then when you look at Montreal, under is 4-1-1 one, and one in their last six when their opponent scores two or less goals in the previous game. And then when these teams play each other, Nashville is 7-1, and one, but the under is 8-2 and two in the last 10 meetings in Montreal. The favorite is 4-1, and one, and the home team is 4-1. and one. I look for this game just to be Montreal's not very good. Nashville's going to be a little bit tired. Montreal's got a bunch of injuries. So I'm expecting this game to go under 6.5. We've got that for minus 112 at FanDuel the Canadians and the Predators. Now, shifting to the National Basketball Association, I'm going to go sort of against this back-to-back strategy here in the NBA as we go to Boston at Brooklyn. Now, Boston just played last night. They played the New Orleans Pelicans. It was a 125-114 win. Boston is now riding a four-game winning streak. When you look at the minutes, their starters did log some heavy minutes. Grant Williams played 37. Tatum played 35. Brown played 34. But they're going up against a Brooklyn Nets team that is, of course, without Kevin Durant. He's out with an injury until early February. So now when you look at the Brooklyn Nets, they just beat Miami by one point. But that was four days ago. Um... 
what does Brooklyn have in terms of depth when you move away from Kevin Durant? So when we look at the box score there against Miami, um, Durant actually played that game. So this is the first game Durant's going to miss. He played 30 minutes in that game. He had 17 points. Of course, they've got Kyrie Irving. They've got Ben Simmons. Simmons in that game played 29 minutes, had four points. So he's not a big scorer. I just don't know where the offense is going to come from Brooklyn. Yes, they've been playing well. They've won uh, nine of their last 10, actually. But now they're playing Boston, who is back to rolling. Boston, like I said, has won four straight after a little bit of a slip up. Boston's 13 and seven on the road. I just don't know how Brooklyn can sustain that long without Kevin Durant against top tier talent such as Boston. When they play against each other, Celtics are 5-0 and ATS in their last five against Brooklyn, 4-0 and ATS straight up in their last four overall, and we have seen a lot of overs as well. So right now, Boston is minus 2.5. That's minus 115 at BetMGM. So for a three-point shot for Boston, I know they just played last night. They're playing on the road, but Boston's rolling. I don't know where Brooklyn's necessarily going to get their offense from. This is a good spot if you do want to choose to fade or follow, but I'm going to roll with the Celtics. They're playing well. Brooklyn is Kevin Durant. Kyrie Irving, yes, he can score, but Ben Simmons is not scoring, and I just don't know where else that offense will come from. So Boston minus 2.5 for minus 115 at BetMGM. And we'll wrap tonight. It's card up at Toronto. I'm wearing the 905 jersey. A lot of 905 alumni, of course, on the Toronto Raptors. They are once again hosting the Charlotte Hornets for the second night in a row. Charlotte is now 11 and 31. They're 6 and 17 on the road. Toronto obviously has been struggling. They're 18 and 23, but they are still 13 and 10 on the road. And they're coming off the last game, which was two nights ago, at home against Charlotte. It was a 132 to 120 win. They finally got the start of getting the shots to fall. Toronto was 20 from 44 from downtown for 45% from three, which was very, very encouraging. They've been shooting the three terribly. But the biggest thing for Toronto is that the injuries. The injury bug seems to have left. So Otto Porter is out for the season, but they've got Siakam, Barnes. It's the first time they're able to roll out the, 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 their normal starting lineup of Pascal, Barnes, OG, Fred, and Gary Trent Jr. All of those guys played over 30 minutes in the last game against Charlotte. You had 28 points from Siakam, 22 from OG, 24 from Trent. Van Fleet struggled a little bit as he's been doing. He was only 3 of 10 from the floor, but... They're getting the scoring from elsewhere. And Charlotte, look, Charlotte's f- a fun team to watch, but they're just not very good. <laughs> um, Charlotte's 1-4 in four ATS in their last five. Uh, they're 1-3 in three ATS in their last five against teams with a losing record. Raptors are 6-1 and one ATS in their last seven versus a team with a road winning percentage of less than 40. Um, against each other, the over is going 12-5 and five to the over in the last 17 times they've played. They're still without... Um, Gordon Hayward. They're still without Oubre. I just think the Toronto Raptors, the spread right now is at six and a half. I think it's actually moved to five and a half. I got this at Betway at minus six and a half or minus 120. I'm going to pay the juice. I think the Raptors, listen, the Raptors are struggling. The Raptors are probably going to look a little bit different. I don't think this is the team to take them very far in the playoffs, but now that they're at full strength, they are still a good basketball team. They do still have arguably two to three all-stars. You've got the reigning rookie of the year. You've got Nick Nurse. Are they struggling? Of course. Not where I thought they were going to be this season at all, but I still like them to beat up on really bad teams, and Charlotte is a really bad team. I also lean towards the over, which is at 230 and a half at BetMGM. I'm probably going to lay a half a unit on that, but I think the Toronto Raptors win back-to-back games at home against Charlotte. Minus six and a half. I look for them to come out firing once again. Barnes only had seven points. Van Fleet struggled a little bit, so even if that um, evens out and maybe Pascal doesn't have such a good game, which he's every game he's having is great. He's one of the best players in the league this season. So I do like that. So let's just run back down the card. I like the under minus six, sorry, the under six and a half between Montreal and Nashville minus 112 at FanDuel. I like the Boston Celtics to win minus two and a half minus 115 at BetMGM and for the Toronto Raptors to cover minus six and a half. That's minus 120 at Betway paying the juice all the way down the card. If you are fading or following, feel free to drop a comment. Audio versions available on Apple Podcasts and on Spotify. And let's talk sports.